So sometimes it is not God who is behind everything you see. Some of them, God. Some of them, you. Some of them, Satan. Do you know what God is responsible for? Do you know what you are responsible for? And do you know what Satan is responsible for? Things you don't invite, they just come. They just happen. When negatives are happening, you need to know when to take charge. We are people who are supposed to watch, examine things. Paul said, don't be ignorant of the devices of the enemies because he takes advantage of you in your ignorance. And when you think it is expensive to learn, to study, to pray, you try to open up to the enemy and see the cost that will come on you. Come to a place where you can discern the will of God for man, the plan of God for man. You can discern the works of man and the works of Satan when situations present themselves to you. By knowing the nature of God and what comes from God, the nature of man and what man can do, the nature of Satan and what Satan can do, you will now get to know that this life does not depend on just one personality. Our strength comes from God to help us overcome ourselves. Uh, yes, ourselves and to overcome the enemy. Because it's crucial that even ourselves, we cannot. So Satan uses the unregenerated man to do evil. God uses the regenerated man to carry out his assignment. Satan uses the unregenerated man to do evil. So man, man, as man can decide to kill without any disturbances in here. When I say man, man refers to the human race, human beings. So people can do anything for anything because that man is not regenerated. The only time man is able to walk in the will of God and to walk in the things God has designed for man. The things we see in Genesis, in the Garden of Eden. Before man can walk in them, man needs the Spirit of God. Remember man died and that was the separation. So if man will, will, will come back to life, man will need God's life in him. To be able to live as God designed for Adam to have lived. And Adam failed. Adam fell short. So the only life that man needs to be able to get back to the Garden of Eden is the life of God. Because from there man died and everything man will bring out will be dead. So man will produce Dead, dead humans, sinful humans. Remember, the blessings of God will continue as blessing. The curse of man will continue as curse. The deception of Satan will continue as sin. So you see blessings coming, curse, problems, troubles coming, deception, destructions all coming from different sources, mixed up, and the target is man. And when man is taken by God, there will be transformation on the creation of God. If man is taken by Satan, there will be destruction on men or humans and the creation of God. The will of God for man is that man be brought back, is that man be restored. And he gave his life. So the coming of Jesus 
is the coming of the life of God. That man did not have to produce Jesus. The Spirit of God came on Mary. And Mary conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and gave birth to Jesus. So Jesus is the life of God in man. That man may receive Jesus and receive the life of God. So today, any man without Jesus has no life. And how disastrous that is. That you live your whole life on earth without the life of God. Remember, there is nothing man can do in his power to attain the life of God. And that is what God promised in Genesis chapter 4 when he said the seed of the woman will bruise your head. And that was the, the seed that is Jesus who overcome Satan. Because when Satan is overcome, people receive life and people are brought back to God. 